Hello there, it's me, Rama, and this is the full walkthrough of how to use my plugin, my Melee Weapon plugin. Let's say you just bought the plugin and you want to know how to set it up, I'm going to walk you through every step of the process. Now, here's what you should have in advance you should have a character with basic movement controls, you should be able to swing at least one way. Multiple ways is nice, but not required. And you need a weapon, a weapon mesh, that we can make into a skeletal mesh. That's what you need, and that's what I'm starting with. Now begins the tutorial, where we're going to walk through every step together. So, I have this uh, folder for my new weapon. I'm going to show you the whole process, importing from scratch. So this is how you get the weapon to work with my system. This is a static mesh. It actually comes from the... Uh, one of one of Epic's demos, the Elemental demo actually, or it's also in the Cave demo too. So I'm importing this now. Very important. Make sure you import as skeletal. That's the critical first step. Don't assign a skeleton. We're going to make a new one. Now we have a new uh, axe. Now I don't know about you, but I can't stand that that color, <laughs> that setup. So let's make it metallic set the metallic to 1 and let's set the roughness to 0 0.3 and that'll be our uh, that'll be the color oh let's change the color let's make it what do you think pink let's go with purple all right so now we have a nice purple axe do I want to save yes all right so now we have a purple axe and we have a physics asset now this physics asset is one of the most important things about the entire setup process because it dictates how well you can control what portions of the weapon do damage so it's good to balance the number of um, parts the number of bodies that you create you don't want to create too many because then you can run into efficiency problems not with my plugin but just in general you don't want to have too many bodies if you don't need to so let's go with just Let's try to go with just two. So we have the handle as one, and we're going to add a box. Again, this is one of the absolute most critical parts. Actually, I think we need three, because I don't think that... If I... I'll show you why. If I did the whole thing like this, then it's... Uh, the, it's too wide. It does damage in too many areas. It shouldn't. So we're actually going to have two blades, just like the axe itself. We're going to have two blades. Hold down W key and drag. No, that didn't work. Let's just right click. To duplicate, just duplicate like that. And then we made a duplicate. And yeah, that's great. Now, in terms of accuracy, this is a little too thick. Let's get thinner like that. All right. And thinner. Okay. So now we have three bodies. We have two parts that should do damage and one handle. And it's not entirely centered, but that's okay. All right, so we've now created the weapon. So again, to review, you imported the weapon as skeletal, and you, then you set up the physics asset for the weapon. Now the next step is we have to add the weapon to our character. The tutorial character, this is my character that's like your character has nothing of my uh, plug-in or weapon system set up. All she has is that shield. In her event graph she just has attach the shield to the body and do the montages to swing the weapon. Other than that this is just basic template code. Thank you to Epic for providing template projects to give us this stock code. <laughs> it's very helpful. So now we're gonna add in my component. My entire plugin is this component with supporting C++ code. I went deep into the physics engine to create this plugin to get the kind of low-level control that I wanted of the sweeping and the collision system and the whole thing that, uh, that you see I'm presenting to you here. So this is the details for my Rama Melee Weapon component and we're going to add in the new axe that we just created. Notice it has three yellow portions. Those are those three bodies that we made just a second ago. Now, next very important step is head over to the damage map and we need to add in the bodies that we want to have control over. So let's add in this one. Now notice, this is something that could happen. Notice I set it to two, 
but nothing lit up. And that's because in this physics asset it got added as subshapes. That doesn't always happen. Sometimes there'll be separate bodies. So there's two arrays. There's a shape array and there's a body array. Number of bodies and then bodies have a subarray for shapes. So in this particular asset, the it's we need to use the shapes. You're just gonna have to fiddle with this per asset to figure out which way it works because it could go either way. You could have one body with many shapes, or you could have many bodies with only one shape each. This three things, this could have been three bodies or one body with three shapes. It just depends on how the asset got set up. So I've provided you with support for both cases using my damage map. Now the other really important thing is the melee trace channel. We need to decide what this weapon's gonna hit. For now we're gonna go with pawn, and I'll, we'll walk through the steps of how you do per bone collision. So with pawn, it's going to hit the capsule. All right, so that's the setup of the weapon component and setting up these shapes to do damage. And as you can see, you can instantly tell when they do damage. By the way, this drawing feature you can turn these you can turn them all off at any time. You can also control the thickness. I'm going to just go to one. See that? You can totally customize it. I happen to like it thick <laughs> for whatever reason. All right. Draw shapes duration in game when you sweep. If you're drawing the sweeps, that's how long the sweeps will last. All right, now in the event graph, we need to set up our weapon. So over in begin play, I'm going to get rid of this. Don't need this right now. Over in begin play, we need to, we attach the shield, but we need to attach the new components. This is called Rama Melee Weapon. I'm going to drag it in. I'm actually going to rename it, I think. Let's see, Rama melee weapon, let's call it Rama melee weapon, axe. All right, now event graph. So we have our axe, we need to attach it. I'll just copy this. We need to attach it. One very important setting, make sure you snap to target, including scale. That means that it will match your skeleton. You don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I do it. Uh, and I'll show you why in a second. So we have to get the mesh, the character mesh, because we're attaching to the character mesh and then we have to add it like this. So now we've attached to the mesh. However, we don't really have a good socket name yet. So we're going to call this axe and then we have to go set this up in the skeleton. So over in the skeleton, this skeleton knight, it's in her right hand. We need to add a new socket, add socket, and this is called axe. That was the same name I typed in blueprints. And let's hide these other preview assets. And we're going to add in our preview asset of our new axe that we just made, which has that really long name, but it's purple, so we know where it is. And we need to position it now. Now this is the really cool thing about using snap to target with scale when, for when you attach, because then exactly what you see is what you're going to get. And if you're a little confused about how it looks, you can go over to the animation tab and play an animation and then pause it to see better what's happening. So let's use attack one. So we're going to pause it. Let's see. I want to pause it. Let's go to where we like it. Right there. All right. So this, so using animation tab now, if you go back to skeleton, you can position with great precision. So let's say axe, let's, do I, I don't, so think about that doesn't quite look right to me. I'm going to go more like there. Okay. And so again, look at the accuracy you can have here using it, the, doing it this way. I'm going to go here. I want to see the thumb. The hand's going to be blocked because this handle's quite thick. So let's see. I think also I want it to be longer. There we go. All right. And then that to make it narrow. It's going to be one of these. All right. And there. And longer. This is getting pretty warped here. <laughs> Something like that, maybe? Let's try that. A little strange looking, but you can customize all day on your own. I have to get through this video. <laughs> all right, so now we attached it to this socket. We have our axe over here, and then we attach it to the socket. Notice it's not scaled here, but it's going to be scaled in game because of snap to target, including scaling. All right, now in game, notice she has her axe. 
and we can swing with it.